So I was watching Oprah Winfrey and she had three young adults, college students who had come on to her show to talk about their experience having visited Uganda. I think they just brought their video cameras with them for a summer trip to explore. And in their exploration came across these young boys and girls who would escape their villages in the middle of the night to prevent being abducted or kidnapped to be a part of a vicious army. Later on in the show, she had a family who had adopted one of these children who was a former child soldier. She was both a victim and a perpetrator of the war. And um, being on stage, face partly disfigured, uh, clearly nervous, a little bit terrified, all the lights and all this audience in, in, in front of her, listening to her tell her story, I was very, very intrigued by that. Um, and so I decided that I would do a little bit more research as to what was going on in Uganda and there Lord's Resistance was born. Um, my play is about a well-to-do black family who are from Chicago who decide to adopt a former child soldier who happens to be a boy. And uh, he's 17 years old when they adopt him, so he's almost a man. But those are always the kids that get left behind. No one wants teenagers, everyone wants babies. This family felt they should go with what was appropriate for their lifestyle. And they did that, and when he arrives, all sorts of bombs go off. Well, Okello's arrival, Okello is the uh, child soldier. His arrival alone uh, causes a lot of things to be unearthed between the marriage between Pauline and, and Harvey and things that had already existed but had not really been brought up to the surface. Um, we clearly see in the very beginning of the play the dysfunction between both Pauline and Harvey and once Okello arrives that, that only gets worse. Um, without giving too much about the play, I would just say that he experienced one war in Uganda and comes home to Chicago and experiences yet another war. The thing that is most important to me is being able to, to show and share that there are st different types of stories within our community. This is a family who in their eyes have achieved the American dream. They have gone to school, they have amazing jobs, they are successful they have a certain level of wealth that has afforded them the type of lifestyle that they have and they just happen to be black um i think that a lot of times you know whether it's on stage or whether it's in film or in television um we're sort of used to seeing one type or we're, we're used to seeing families characters who are black portrayed in one particular way or a couple different ways um I just want to add some balance to what we see and I think that this family, outside of whatever it is that they have accomplished, they're also very complex people and I think it's important to share those complexities because there's a lot to discuss and I would hope that an audience would leave the theater after seeing this play with some, with some things to think about or some things to talk about amongst themselves. I think that for me is my one of my biggest goals in writing is to be able to share something that people can then have some sort of discourse about. Well, right now I'm working on two things. First is a play that sort of deals with unconditional love. The story is born out of me just sort of catching my grandmother talking to herself, or I thought she was talking to herself. It, it turns out that she was actually talking to her husband who had been deceased for 35 years. Um, the way in which she continues to love this man is astounding to me, especially as I think about how unconditional love plays a role today just between men and women, some of the things that I've experienced, some of the things that my friends have experienced, some of the things that I've seen, you know, it, it seems to all be about self-preservation now. And I wonder if we could ever get to a place where we are looking to give and not just to get, as my grandmother has been or has done with her husband. Um, it's a little eerie the way in which she speaks about him, but I think it's really, I think it's really dope. I think it's awesome. And I want to sort of explore that. And so that's what that play is about. The second project is um, about West Indian nannies in New York City. Um, I'm West Indian and very rarely do I see plays on stage that deal with any sort of cultural nuances having to deal with any island in the West Indies. Um, so that's one. Secondly, um, I just always thought it was interesting, like what is it like when you know, you're know you leaving your family at whatever hour of the day or morning or whatever 
to go take care of someone else's because this is your livelihood and you need this money to go take care of your own family but the time may not necessarily be there because it's now being shared between another family what is that like what does that do to the other family i've sort of had some experiences with that in my own family um, and i've seen the abandonment that has taken place and i've seen how people come out of that or maybe not come out of it i don't know i'm still working on a few things with that story but that's pretty much the the foundation of it i didn't really choose to become a playwright more than uh it was sort of chosen for me and I don't mean that in like a weird like crazy way but I've always been interesting story interested in stories whether I was reading them watching them on television or actually telling them myself um, I I love I love the English language I love dialogue I love talking or listening to people talk um, I think I have a pretty good ear for it and I think that's sort of where it started. Um, becoming a playwright though was something I didn't decide until I graduated with an actual MFA and I was like oh I have this thing now so I guess I should start calling myself a playwright. Um, I'm paying for this or I'm still paying for this degree so maybe I should really assume the title. Um, I, I love the arts, I love theater, I love, I love dialogue, I love stories and I think the best way for me to immerse myself into that world was through theater was through plays.